Attention gamers! After searching long and hard, deep down under the depths of Elo Hell, hidden away in the darkest, most feared and hopeless corner of solo queue smelly anus I have found, the absolute lowest ranked real player in what Euro pores would call the worst region in League of Legends, and today we will be studying the unexplainable chaos that ensues in one of this creature's games to determine how a mere mortal among the crowds of account selling bots, has found himself stuck in such an awful situation. Now if you didn't know you can surf the interwebs to op.gg and see exactly what rank you are on your server's ladder in case you want to show it off to your friends add it to your resume put it on your tinder profile get it tattooed to your gooch etc all the standard stuff but if you drill into the rankings you can also find the very last page to see the lowest of the losers in order of statistical badness. And as you descend into the depths of derpy dumbassery you'll see the obvious bot accounts that are literally created to lose every game and then sell for more than a damn PS5 but occasionally you will see authentic players with tons of games trying their absolute hardest to get out which is why when I saw that the lowest account, used bloody tam- who appears to be an actual human, I had to see what was going on. And as I browsed this walking artifacts match history there was so much I wanted to see, potential new tech on a win twin, building tier on a ramus, I mean the creativity in this cuckwad's mind was endless but I decided to give him the best odds of impressing us by picking a game on his main, the death fetish goat shepherd to reveal his own actions as well as those of his teammates, to try and diagnose how a real human could be stuck down here as some of you may think it's just very bad luck while others might notice something seems off about the rift in this elo. Add time. Alright quick personality test, there are two lovely ladies standing on each side of you. Smash. No. I wouldn't pass on either. That's not what I was gonna ask. Which would you choose between light, and dark? Both fruit of the same Legolas like loin. The elves were once tempted by Raid's Dark Lord Seroth who we can assume looks like this and we shouldn't mention his name anymore and while some evil prudes resisted his temptation and stayed good, a group of rebels drank he who shall not be named Kool-Aid and became an elite group of their own with unique powers to destroy everything in their way. I choose Dark BT dubs because Vizix's legendary has two different moves that attack everyone and cuts the butts out of all her clothes. But honestly light is dope too can't hate when you are playing a game where you can go to the tavern at any hour and meet scantily clad women who if fed enough will literally fight off enemies for you before you tuck them in at night and see them literally become a better version of themselves in the morning so try raid today by using my link in the description or scanning this QR code and you will get 30 bucks worth of goodies including silver energy XP a shard and Tarot a dope new champ to get you past any hard stuck situations unlike our main character today. We see Mr. Tampon escorting an insane surprise in bait as he sets up like a balloon's tower defense turret while letting that large rock Jake paw his ass a few times but do not fear, their Akali won't be here which means Mr. What it do has no choice other than to stand over there with his dick in his hand watching them eat the last bagel bite in the basket, and despite a few people's controllers disconnecting at bad times nothing seemed very suspicious about that play until Archibald runs mid and our rank 1 million jungler decides to go head bot as showing off his blue ring to the enemy is a much more effective time than killing critters in his forest, in fact when he finally does stand still long enough to get home he throws the ultimate shade at the concept of a blue buff by leaving the game until that shit wears off. Meanwhile up north we have a wild wind shitter in this one who gets in quite the mechanically intensive 1v1 where both players are moving less than a fake tit in the wind until we see the sheer mastery of this Yone prevail over the young Irelia. And while you may be thinking lucky him he gets to lane against the result of the first ever recorded anal conception but trust me she was about to make this a bad situation no pun intended, as immediately after he had to hit her with so much dodge you could call him a Durango just to make it out alive to which I'm like damn, how are you in iron with moves like that as I immediately feel my own foot inserting itself into my mouth as he runs back into danger to make a dumb donation to the Make a Fed Aurelia Foundation. Lastly I want to introduce used bloody tampons mid laner to give the full picture here as we see her oomed which during a gank means she's doomed but a tower tap or two is all a manic manalist midget needs to recommit to a fight that unfortunately just didn't pan out well for her. But look who's back and no longer being bogged down by that beta cut blue buff no, he is free and ready to slaughter any scuttle crab who looks at him the wrong way unless a distraction presents itself as these two LP bottom feeders chant I sight diff as they add dead right under shirtless and blind to the list of words describing Lee Sin but then a violent threat approaches.
But considering that sickle slut path worse than a roofied GPS on Mars I have nothing but confidence that our short stout sad mid will avenge such a greedy death until DJ Casper apparently takes over her brain. Chris Cross. Chris Cross. It's okay girl eyes on the prize, the prize being the Iron 4 mastery flashing dash douche who just succeeded in taking the dumbest eater out of danger ever but there's a new objective now and with almost no mana she had to make every spell count. Checking in on Yone He whose brain is baloney and he's looking lower than a type 1 diabetic with diarrhea as we see an almost Queen's Gambit level of planning going through his head until the thought out sequence of steps turns out to be cancel 2 autos proc a shield wait for said shield to run out and then teabag your alt key in front of the audience of red babies only to realize that he must have been just slightly off in one of his calculations. Panning back to tampon comma bloody we see a short river rumble de-escalate with no casualties but enough frustration to prompt waking up a dragon for no reason other than to disrespect the thing and while the play here should be to do anything but try to solo the dragon with half health at level 4 right in front of the team, Miss Ba Ba Black Sheep decides to defy the odds and do it anyway, but the enemy team is just like an adventurous porno script, offering both pussy and a yass hole to be played with which turns out to be too much for one bloody used tampon to handle. This leaves that pocket-sized Prozac addict in desperate need of someone to read her vexes passive very slowly as she makes it back to tower and dies with both her dignity and W off cooldown. Bam easy kill hashtag worth as all shit our main character is coming off of what was probably a crazy kill as she deems a wall hopping victory lap in order before running into that broken abomination of a champ so she commands her knee nibbling sperm cloud to attack before seeing something that makes her say a hi anything you can do I can do better, but Akali is like oh yeah can you go back now too fully aware of the fact that the Akali department at Riot gives some of the best slob knob west of Silicon Valley so she can dash more than a strobe light can flash which becomes slightly more useful than being able to deploy the immortal dance floor when the only people dancing also want you dead. Now did you hear the rumor that when a jungle slut is going full blown puppy excited to see his owner on your ass one strategy is to stand completely still. But I think doing that would be about as effective as the share button on a Pornhub video. Now it's important when you are mid-game to get up and do a series of stretches in the other room to remain fresh for what will be an epic end game. you know what they say ergonomics earns LP so while he's taking a rift shit let's check in on Angle Last Airhead who intelligently opts into ulting in the opposite direction of safety, which long story short ends the fight with no surprises except for the fact that this Aurelia, the same one who did this earlier, was now rocking farm on par with a slightly intoxicated froggin. And if you have read any of Vex's lore you might ask why the hell are you so damn depressed all the time, to which she's like because I have to lane against these board certified chicken shits who are more mobile than a damn cell phone and how are you supposed to play against that? Just give up. I did. But in the face of adversity our eternal tenant of Iron 4's armpit becomes not the hero Vex wants, but the one she needs. Yone thinks about it and is like aw oh, hell no and then Vex uses her second life that bloody tampon gave her to its absolute fullest. He then decides to celebrate dodging the death diamond by shitting his twin out and playing a quick game of fruit ninja before returning to reality where serenity is both dominating and someone who buys iron accounts because it's too hard to win in silver when only getting 3 cs per minute. And I guess one poor e low hell hard stuck death fetish sheep shepherd can only deal with so much smurfing until the line is crossed and so the rest of the game will be spectated from the safety of his own fountain all while his teammates are just praying for safe uninterrupted trips home.
So there you have it, this is a typical game in the life of the lowest ranked player in NA solo queue and I honestly can't pinpoint, outside of the blatant AFKs, how he consistently is losing against accounts that are actively trying to tank their MMR but that's all I have today, brush your teeth tonight, Rav out. Happy boy, I'm in your crib with a blappy boy, talk to me slick and I'm popping your pappy. If happy talk back then I'm taking your Grammy and boy oh boy I'll make her happy.